What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at Ultimate Kickoff Todd Gurley. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers with the subscribe button and notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And I'll leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I won't be live tonight because of the Thursday Night Football games, but I'll be live tomorrow for the I Rate Your Team stream. And good luck to anyone who has any Chiefs or any Texans on their fantasy team. Um, good luck to you guys. I have Mahomes and David Johnson tonight, and I also have, in my, in my other league, I have Mahomes and Tyreek tonight. So hopefully... Fingers are crossed that we that we have a good opening night of the NFL. But yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, so before we start talking about Todd Gurley, I do want to give my opinion on this promo. And I'm honestly very disappointed with this promo. We kind of got lackluster masters. I mean, the Byron Jones is pretty cool. He's got good speed, but his man coverage isn't the best. But the the four masters just are not that good, in my opinion. Um, Who is it? Linval Joseph, Trent Williams, uh, Yannick, and... Or Yannick, however you say his name. I don't know how you say his name. And Todd Gurley, so... All those guys are 88 overall, so even when you power them up, they only go to 89 overall, so you can't even unlock that that third ability slot, so it does limit a lot of the abilities on this player, which is kind of disappointing. So, like, if you're going to have a whole promo, like, having these guys as the Masters is honestly it's a huge disappointment. It's not even like the Todd Gurley card's even that good. You can't even put Leapfrog on him. Um, he does get Reach Forward and Energizer, but that's really nothing new. We already have an Ezekiel Elliott card who's probably better than Todd Gurley, and he came out last week, which doesn't make much sense to me. Um... I mean, so far, I'm, I definitely like the uh, I like the Superstar MVP promo better than this. I can already tell. Um, I mean, we have an alternate currency. We have the uh, prediction sets or whatever those are. I mean, the only W with this promo so far that I've seen is just that House Rules is back. I'll be playing House Rules in today's gameplay, but having House Rules in the game is a huge W. House Rules is like a different kind of mode. And I'm pretty sure it's college playoffs um, this week. So looking forward to playing that. But yeah, anyway, Todd Gurley has 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 90 agility, 89 carrying, 85 COD, 84 trucking, and 86 break tackle. Um, so a pretty solid card. I mean, I like the Zeke better. Obviously, I like Bo better. Um, probably like Warwick better too. But Todd Gurley is, is not a bad option. I feel like he might be pretty cheap, honestly. Um, actually, he, he's not going to be cheap at all, actually. He actually won't be cheap because you, you need him for that Byron Jones set. If he, if he was not part of the set, this call would probably be going for like maybe 100k around there but because he's in that because he's in that set for byron jones who everyone's gonna want Todd Gurley's probably gonna be pretty pricey but um Todd Gurley, hopefully he plays well i mean his abilities aren't the best i showed you them earlier um but today we got energizer and reach for it he cannot get leapfrog just imagine a todd Gurley card without leapfrog it makes no sense i'm pretty sure if he was a 90 overall and had that third ability slot we'd be able to put leapfrog on him but unfortunately 89 overall yeah, I don't know what else to say about it, but um, yeah, for X-Factor, we do have Freight Train. And Energizer, I have that on him today because it's good for these running back gameplays where I just feed the running back over and over and over again. But uh, he can't get Jukebox in the first slot. I just don't think Jukebox is that good this year, if I'm being honest with you guys. But uh, yeah, that's enough talking. I'm going to hop and do some uh, house rules, college playoffs with Todd Gurley. Uh, so hopefully we can do a whole bunch of games. Hopefully we get some wins. But uh, yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into the gameplay. Let's do it. All right, here we go. That's our top three, Dan Marino, Dre Bly. Yeah, that was our top three. And we're facing 96 Sam Mills, Barry Sanders, and Rob Woodson. I'm going to use her with, on Barry because I feel like you probably won't put him in a route. Okay, he's putting him in a route. I got to watch out for the Texas. We're good. All right, I kind of have this guy boxed. Yeah, stay with that. Our spy's going to work. If that's not textbook coverage, I don't even know what is. That is textbook defensive coverage. I low-key predicted every single route perfectly, and Elvis does get a sack. That's beautiful. All right, let's go I form close. I hope that this dude just isn't like an absolute beast against the run. I mean, he has 96 Sam Mills. Oh, he's got Seymour with inside stuff. All right, we can't even run inside. We can't run anything, really. It's going to be hard to have anything. This guy's got a really good team and a really good defense. It might be an ugly start to the day. Yep. Okay, Todd Gurley's just going to get <laughs> floored on that play. But wait, with a field goal, I win the game, right? Wait, 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 wait. A field goal, I win this game, right? I'm just going to run the ball, right? Because if a field goal wins me the game, why would I pass? Or am I wrong? Am I wrong with this? Or does a field goal win me the game? I think I might be wrong with this. I don't know. Okay, I, I don't really care. I'm going to take my three, right? And all I'm going to say about kicking is me having focus kicker in mutt ruins my kicking in CFM. I cannot kick a field goal to save my life in CFM. Did I, did I just win the game? Hey, we won our first We won our first house rules game. Good job, boys. We're hopping into another one. And by the way, if you guys do want to play house rules, you need... Wait, how many wins do you need? Okay, you need 10 wins to get your um to get your master token or whatever. So you need two tokens to get one of the 80, 88 overall players. So you, you can get one from solos and you get one from house rules. And I'm pretty sure they refresh each week the rewards. So if you don't want to play solos, you can just wait for the house rules. 
um to refresh but at 10 wins you get one uh, of the uh of the master token so so get in here and play your house rules and also play your solos so you get a free uh 88 overall um actually you get two free ones i guess right because next week there's, there's more solos coming out and and uh next week house rules reset so you're gonna be able to get two free masters in this way you're only gonna need two um two more players to get that byron jones if you want to go for him so that's kind of a big w in my opinion so definitely play your house rules and definitely play your solos if you want you know free free uh 88 overall masters cards all right here we go that's our top three we got dan marino dre bly and elvis doomerville and he's got trey white andre johnson Leroy glover so a much worse team than what i just faced hopefully this game i can move the ball with todd Gurley. that's the real question can we stop the run he's in eye form can we stop the run? Minka, please. Minka, one tackle. Yeah, Minka's just too slow, bro. All right, we're going to have to score a touchdown now. You don't even really have the... Oh, he's going for two? Oh, he's going for two. Hold up. What I was going to say was, though, you don't even need to power up Brandon Cooks because he hits that 90 threshold. Nice tackle by me right there. Thank you, guys. Thank you for thank you for commenting that down in the comment section. I appreciate all the love. It's going to be very interesting to see how that card feels out there. All right, let's go, Todd. Do the hole. Come on, Todd. Come on, Todd. Give me a first, Todd. Maybe a touchdown, Todd? Maybe a touchdown? Nah, we're not. he's not cut out. He's not cut out. Even with Energizer, my, my man Todd Gurley is not putting in the work. Give me one block. Touchdown, Todd Gurley. Let's go. Let's go. That's big. All right. So all I got to do is if I kick a field goal, I win the game, right? If I literally just come down here, kick a field goal, I win. Okay. So we, we're going to win this game. With focus kicker, I don't miss field goals. And guys, let me know what team collectible you guys are going to go with for the ultimate kickoff. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going to have the Ravens. A lot of people are going to have the Chiefs. But are there any like sleeper teams you guys want? Um, I'm definitely gonna pick the Jets. I feel like they're gonna have a phenomenal year, like 10 and 10 and 6 vibes I'm getting from the Jets right now. But th th that's just the vibe I'm getting personally. Not, that's definitely a non-biased opinion on the Jets. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comment section what team you guys are gonna be picking. Bob Sanders, though, that's the problem. He's gonna see that. Oh, he didn't see it with Bob Sanders. Oh, but we no one. Oh, Todd breaks the tackle. Let's go, Todd. Good work, baby. Good work. Oh man, Todd. Todd kind of bailed us out right there. Let's go. Where's the slant? There's the slant from Clayton. Gonna try to hit that drag route. Nope, we're there. Beautiful coverage right there. We're playing really good defense this morning. I'm not gonna lie. Miles Garrett gets the sack. You guys think you guys think it's a good idea if I were to get rid of Miles Garrett and get the uh, new Yannick card and then sell my Miles Garrett because I feel like Miles Garrett's very expensive right now, and that Yannick card actually is not terrible. That's pretty good finesse moves, but I don't know. Let me let me let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Cause I'm really debating um going to get that new new Yannick card and just selling Miles Garrett. Good throw by him though. Oh, damn. Unfortunate touchdown. Hey, whatever. All right. Now, now it's either he's going to go for two and win the game or he's, or he's just going to kick a field goal and send it to another overtime. Let's see what he does, though. He's in gun Taysom Hill right now. This guy's legitimately in Taysom Hill. Probably going to be a... Uh, my money's on this being like a read option or run the middle and we're going to win the game. Let's go. Good work. All right. Three now. Is that three? Yeah, that's three. Three now. Let's go. Yo, we're facing the Madden OG. Oh, God. His name's Madden OG. Yeah, this is the exact team I expected the Madden OG to have. Two running backs with abilities. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm happy I don't face these teams in like in uh in head to head. In weekend league though, these are the kind of guys we're gonna be seeing today, man. Oh my goodness, dude. The Madden OGs out here with Warwick Dunn with abilities and Barry Sanders with abilities. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good defense, good defense. He's Barry out of the backfield. And let's go. Patty Mahomes misses the throw. Fourth and ten. Let's get it. He's taking his three points. There, no, this, this got to be a fake. It's got to be a fake. There's no way the Madden OG just took three on me. You're telling me right now the Madden OG just took three points. That's the last thing. That's the last thing I, I'd expect from this dude. I'll be honest, bro. Oh, we we're about to have room. We're about to have mad room. Good, good running, diving, Gurley. Let's go. Touchdown, Gurley. That's how we end the video right there. That's 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 a great way to end the gameplay. Let's go, baby. All right, so that is going to do it for the Todd Gurley gameplay. And this card, honestly, he's all right. He's probably one of the better master cards. I don't think this promo is even that good, to be honest with you. But Todd Gurley, he's sort of a W if you have, like, Cam Akers or a running back worse than that. Um, Todd Gurley is a good option for you guys to pick if you if you do the solos and the house rules or, or even if you complete the Byron Jones set and you have a guy like Cam Akers. Todd Gurley is a good choice for you. But if you have Zeke or if you have Bo Jackson, don't touch this card. You're chilling with what you have. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. And the video helped you out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.